Hello everybody, today we're going to get on with another case study in radiology. This is radiology number 19, and yeah, let's get into it. Hello everybody, today we're going to get on with another case study. Just to review, like always, um, we always want to set our orientation right and our color gradients match and set. So yeah, here we go. So our background is going to be black, and it's going to be sorted with the air represented in the lungs. So we say it should be the same gradient. Bone is going to be that light, like translucent type color gradient and the tissue and muscles can be the grayish light now just to note um this could change there could be some small changes here and there but it's going to stay constant no matter what whether whatever part of the body you're referencing so if taking an x-ray of the arm etc all right so here's our case study um i'll give you guys around 10 seconds to try and figure out what may be wrong here and a possible treatment if you guys are up for that challenge um, if you need more time, go ahead and do pause. All right, I'm going to go ahead and let you know the answer. So um, first off, what we can see is there's a clear definition on the left lung. Um, you can see it over there, the pleural lining, and kind of see all the concavity changes and everything there. Um, now when I say left, I'm talking to my left, so it's just going to be your left. Uh, trachea looks to be in the center, everything looks fine with that. Um, the heart looks like a normal size shape and everything, diaphragm and everything matches up. The only thing that doesn't look great is the, pa is the patient's left lung. But what I'm looking at is my right. So the patient's left lung is not looking good. Because if we look below the heart, we can see pockets of air essentially trapped um, inside, outside of the pleural lining, the lung uh, markings. And as we remember, that's kind of a pleural effusion scenario. But we can also see that there is a very small pneumothorax happening in that lung. We can see a part of it not fully reaching to the um, the actual lining, like the defined shape of the lung, and it kind of goes a little bit um, lower than that, the, the higher than what it should be. So that's going to be a very small pneumothorax. Now, in cases like these where um, it's a very small thing, it's not impeding on the patient's life or not, it's, it's not allowing him to function and breathe and everything normally. But so we would kind of allow... We would approach a treatment model where it kind of subsides over time, but we would also monitor it because it's too small to try to drain it or anything like that. So the best way would just be to work on it over time, assess the situation, and see if there's anything that can be done um, in a means that it's going to be appropriate for the situation. All right, that's going to be it for today. This one was a little bit more different, um, or if you want to call it a little bit more weird, because... It's not always an exact given plan. Sometimes there is these small conditions present in patients, and not every time we're going to go ahead and immediately treat it, if you want to say it like that. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.